and oh, I sold my treasure to a one-armed, one-legged, no-eyed buccaneer. He claimed he was my Faja. <laughs> yes, my Faja. Oh, God. This is just... This has become a very brutal show. Um, if you don't know, Thursdays are usually our very entertaining gong shows. We have no limits. I do not care. I will never care. I enjoy making you <laughs> laugh. I enjoy making him laugh. And usually by the end of our show, he is cursing me because I have made him laugh so much uh, he has peed his pants. Yes, if you, you can't see, but I am waving. I am waving, I am waving the fist of fury at you, sir. I am waving my butter knife of fury. <laughs> I don't know why I have a butter knife. I have no butter. I have no bread. But I have a butter knife. You were using it to open up your beer bottle. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Oh my god, we this show is just it's too much, man. It's too much. Yeah, but, Yo, let's try to find a topic, okay? Uh, okay. We will find a topic. Um our topic is going to be movies we want to see other than Star Wars. Oh, you know, I forget that. We're done now, man. Uh honestly, um I don't know. Again, I mean, I think we brought this up a few times. I can't wait to go off and see Deadpool. I feel kind of obligated to see Superman versus Batman. Yes, it definitely is an obligation. Um, the fact that it has been pretty much the scorn of our existence uh, since it first came out, which has been very quiet recently, which is kind of scary. Um, you know what movie I'm actually most excited for um, that really kind of goes against the grain at this point, And that is... Charlie Brown. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and you know, it's kind of funny that you bring that up because there is a uh, game that you can download. I don't know if you can download it for Android, but you can definitely download it on the iPhone. It's, uh, you know, a Snoopy's story, you know, tale stories or some silliness. Yes, it, it is something about Snoopy, which is pretty awesome. I have yet to play it because I am too busy with my minions. <laughs> Minion Paradise. Yeah, Snoopy's town is what it's Snoopy's called, apparently. Town. Yeah. Snoopy now has a town. He is a mayor of an imaginary town stuck in a phone. And apparently, it's him going off and writing about what happens with, you know, Charlie Brown and all of his friends as a letter to this new girl that's moving next door to Charlie Brown. Well, you know, I, I'm actually very excited for the movie. Um, I think the graphics look pretty, pretty awesome. Um, and it's been a while since we've seen a Snoopy movie. I know a lot of people are excited for it, and it's coming out very soon. Ah, uh, that's another movie that'll be, yeah, I think it's coming out next month. Next month, yes, November 18th, I believe. Something like that. Don't quote me on that, I'm usually wrong. Usually? Yes, most of the time. Uh, uh the other movie I'm excited for is, of course, as always, Suicide Squad. Yeah, absolutely. Suicide Squad, I think, is probably the one DC movie that uh, I'm really looking forward to. Um, maybe because it will be a movie that doesn't have Superman in it. Yes, because Superman generally sucks. Yeah, although now I, you know, when I think about it, I realize I'm definitely going to have to go back and watch Man of Steel in preparation to watch Batman vs. Superman. No, you do not. I, find I will of... save you from that torture. Superman is gay. Superman is stupid. Batman forever. That pretty much sums it up. Yep, it does. Okay, then. You know, I like Superman. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I believe Superman has been overplayed, overdone, and way, way too many actors. Well, you know, again, they're trying to go off, and they're trying to create their own version of what... Marvel has done, uh, you know, with the Avengers. That's their plan here. I mean, we're going to see a Wonder Woman movie coming out. Which I would, I actually don't mind the idea of Wonder Woman. Um, I think there is some flaws in it, of course. But, you know, the idea of a Wonder Woman movie is pretty unique. Well, 
you know, it's funny because, you know, a couple of years ago, they tried to go off and do a Wonder Woman series on television. The uh, pilot never even aired. It's funny because the actress who started in that is now has a recurring role on uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., so, I mean, she's, you know, doing much better. It's, you know, going from, you know, one, you know, comic book universe to another. Yes, which kind of sucks. I, as I've said many, many times, I do not like the crossover actors and actresses. You know, stick to a universe and stay there. <laughs> it happens quite a bit, you know. Yes, and it irks me every single time. No kidding. You know, especially say, you know, uh, Mr. Johnny Storch. Johnny Storch. Wow. I just mixed Johnny Storm and the Human Torch together to come up with Johnny Torch. Well, yeah. Well, you know, Johnny Storm, who is the Human Torch, and, yeah. I mean, of course, we're not talking about Michael B. Jordan here. We are talking about... Uh, Chris Evans. Chris Evans, who is currently uh, Captain America. Da, 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 da. Who played, of course, uh, Johnny Storm, and he's been, I think, in one or two other... Uh, comic book movie yes. adaptions. And, you know, there are so many actors out there that are perfectly capable of doing superhero movies that you don't need the same guy to do multiple movies in different universes. Oh, absolutely not. But you know what? I mean, it's... I don't know. It's interesting. I mean, there's... A few actors have been like that. Uh, oh, man. I'm having the... Yeah, I, mean, I, I honestly cannot think of any. Um, I do believe it was a shot at Fox... When Marvel stole Chris Evans to be Captain America, uh, it's like you know what, you're you're pretty much destroying our Fantastic Four franchise, so we're gonna steal your actor. Yeah, I don't know. It's they didn't really have any plans for a third movie in that series, which was funny because I actually was looking forward to you know where they could go. I honestly thought that uh, if they had done a third movie in that series, that they were going to introduce Namor. The Submariner. The actual, uh, I was actually th- kind of thinking off the top of my head is Ryan Reynolds. Because, I mean, he went off, he started off, uh, you know, with, uh, in his comic book universe, anyways, doing uh, o- uh, Wolverine Origins. Uh, and, you know, you know, kind of how that version of Deadpool was created, which was just absolutely garbage. And now, of course, he went over, he did... Uh, Green Lantern, which, which will he, never be brought up, ever. And you know, he you know he walked away from that whole experience feeling absolutely frustrated. And now, I mean, he's back in Marvel again, doing Deadpool. I mean, and this trailer that we've seen is absolutely epic for it. Yes, I, I agree. They definitely put a lot of money, a lot of effort into this movie to make sure Ryan Reynolds stays happy. Because if Reynolds is happy, a movie generally does good. Um, I, I guess I want to ask you about this. Uh, Brian Cranston, who, uh, of course, is best known for his role as Walter White on Breaking Bad, has went off and said that he would love to play Mr. Sinister in an X-Men movie. Um, you know, I guess I want to kind of, where's your idea on, you know, how do you uh, think I'm, about that? I'm not that? a big fan of, you know, like, I, I haven't really watched a lot of Breaking Bad for obvious reasons, um. You know, never really had the time for it, and wasn't my kind of show. But, you know, he seems like a good enough actor. I don't know if... He played Malcolm, uh, the father on Malcolm in the Middle as well, which I thought was Yeah, I'm too old to remember that series. Uh, <laughs> You're too old to remember that series? My memory's gone, you know? 1966. It's all the rum, man. It's all the it's rum. all the rum. Where has me rum gone? All right, I drank it. Okay. But no, I, I don't, I know he's a great actor and definitely, you know, very talented at what he does. Is he Mr. Sinister? Uh, but, you know what? I honestly think that if he was Mr. Sinister, he might be, um, <laughs> pardon the pun, he might actually come well across with a much more sinister uh, performance than, say, oh, I don't know, currently what, uh, Apocalypse? Who, you know, the Power Ranger villain? <coughs> yeah, Power Rangers to the rescue. No, and definitely I agree. You know, Apocalypse looks absolutely pathetic. 
but see, the problem being is it's it's more than just the actor on what defines a character. It is the people who write that character in, the people who create the character, who you know, costume the character, write the scripts. Those those are what the key elements on making a character you know, into what they should be and what they can be. The actor is only like one little tiny part to it, of an entire you know giant picture. So, but unfortunately, we need to start wrapping up our show on this wonderful, wonderful Thursday evening while you are in Minneapolis. <laughs> while I am here in Minneapolis, thank you for going off and time traveling with me, my friend, to it Thursday. It was my pleasure. I enjoyed Thursday in Minneapolis. So now we're going to have to send you back to Tuesday. Well, you're going to send me back to Tuesday. Can you at least send me back with knowledge, like lottery ticket numbers? No, that is against the rules of time travel. You know that. Screw the rules. I am Captain No, Fizz. no, no, no. I am pushing the button. We are going back to Tuesday right now. Fine. At least find me, find me a boat. You know what? I might find you a boat. Too. Okay, we'll yeah, find me a boat. In the Mall of America. In the Mall of America. We're going to find a boat in a mall. Okay, this is going to be really awful. <laughs> My boat's going to be a dinghy. A very small <laughs> dinghy. There's a bad joke in there somewhere. I'm just not going to touch it. So you know what, folks? Thanks again for listening. Uh, you can follow these two crazy guys on Twitter. At real C A P T Fizz, so at real Captain Fizz. You can follow me, of course, that uh, local fellow at that mask guy. You can follow the show at Fizz Mask Show, and you can find us on YouTube. We're also on Instagram. Take a look, guys. You know, tonight, uh, Thursday night, I will be posting pictures. From the uh, Char Cara event that will be on both the Instagram, which is Fizz and Mash Show, and it should show up as well on the Twitter account as well. And you know we have Tumblr somewhere, and you know I don't know. There's a YouTube, you know, or a Facebook thing somewhere. There's a Facebook thing too. Yes, um, that remains to be seen. Uh, Facebook kind of sucks. <laughs> so you say. So you know, folks. Thanks again for listening, and in the meantime, and in between time, good night, God bless, live long and prosper, and may the force be with you. And as always, stay frosty, my people. Good night! Good night.